Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Marvel Legends Infinite Series Hobgoblin Wave Daredevil in four minutes or less. Daredevil is a man out of place in this wave of Marvel Legends as the only character without spider derivative powers or a spider themed costume. Which is weird because the Avengers Infinite series wave that hits the shelves at the same time features Jessica Drew, aka Spider Woman. Yes, Spider Woman was an Avenger, which means you're an Avenger for life, but who hasn't been an Avenger? Spider Man was, is an Avenger, and so is, was Daredevil. So why not throw Daredevil in the Avengers line and go for the royal flush with Spider Woman in the Spider Man line? Spider Ham, has he been an Avenger? <laughs> he has not. It's coming soon. <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with the case assortments. There's never been a Marvel Legends wave with more than two female characters included. If Spider-Woman takes Daredevil's place, then that puts the Spidey line at 50% male-female ratio. And what kind of a world are we living in if that happens? Daredevil has very simple paint applications, with light red accenting the darker red that the figure is molded in. His belt is a separate molded piece, as is his baton holster. The baton holster is a nice inclusion, although if I'm nitpicking, it sits a tad bit low on his thigh for me, and it's hard to get the very soft rubbery batons to slide all the way in. Both batons at the same time, anyway. As for those soft rubbery batons, they are soft and rubbery. I would have preferred a harder plastic, as his combined baton staff would be more rigid when he holds it in his hand. As it is, it tends to be... floppy. The sculpt is fantastic, even if some of the parts are recycled. Daredevil fans and Legends collectors should be excited for this figure. It is the best 6-inch scale Daredevil figure ever produced. This will reset the bar going forward for what a Daredevil figure can be. It is a very welcome update to a very prominent Marvel character. There hasn't been a Daredevil figure in the Marvel Legends line since the Face Off series in 2006, and that figure was just a repaint of the Urban Legends figure from 2003. And the first Daredevil figure, which was also released in 2003, was Ben Affleck. And just like Ben Affleck, it only had one point of articulation in its shoulders. In a line that was obsessed with over-articulation, especially in the early days, they decided to cut out the shoulder articulation for what? To preserve the clean lines of the shoulder pads? What? Daredevil comes packed with the left arm and a pumpkin bomb from Hobgoblin. If you're not collecting the entire wave like me, then just add it to your collection of arms. It's a nice enough arm from an odd Build-A-Figure. It's not Hobgoblin himself that's odd. Rather, this version of Hobgoblin is very specifically modeled after the art of Umberto Ramos. This is good if you're a fan of Umberto Ramos's work, but odd if you're planning on putting him on the shelf with your other spider villains. It doesn't really match. If you're not a Daredevil fan or don't need the Hobgoblin arm, this figure is an easy pass. If you're looking for the best six inch Daredevil figure that has ever been made, and I realize that's like saying Matt is the best lawyer at Murdoch and Nelson, then this is a must have. So if you see it, buy it. And if you see two, leave one for the next collector.